perpendicular purposefully on Magic Phone House. You're all fired. Not very many people get their name on the blacklist, but I made sure yours is at the top of it. You know what this job means to me. I'm sorry. I'm out of this circle, jerk. <laughs> faces. No, f the show. You know, you all deserve to burn in hell. Uh, I want to talk. Can I come over tonight? Fine, but I'm coming to you. <laughs> Dave's trying to kill me, and I need as many witnesses as possible. Now I'm taking you down with me. Finally, this thing is coming to an end. Whoa! Oh, that's dangerous. Did we get all that? We're here at the county courthouse where convicted child molester Jimmy is not. It appears as if one uh, of the. Hey, things Susan, I'm sorry to cut you off, but can we see a replay of that? Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh, oh, oh! Hard to survive something like that, no? <laughs> yes, that molester is dead, Tim. Thank you for interrupting. Dave so and so is waiting trial for a Attempted murder of, let's face it, someone who should have been dead a long time ago. Possibly in self-defense, no? When I'm done with my part, Nancy, you can talk as much as you want. Don't scowl, Susan. It defines your crow's feet. Your husband is in a wheelchair. All my clients are innocent. Oh, here they come now. No questions at this time, please. Justice will be served. Mr. Cronus, if you don't win this case, you and your staff can face up to six months of jail time. What's your plan of recourse? Changing my sexuality so I still have a good time behind bars. <laughs> no more questions. I got a big dick. No more. Magic Funhouse is some sort of kid show, right? Well, I thought it was a porno. Well, I wouldn't know, Nancy. Oh, don't play stupid. We used to do scenes together, Ms. Wonton Wiggler. <laughs> Although I'm sure you go by something different now. And here's Sasha Barbican. Sasha, as a notoriously bad singer and actress, do you feel this scandal even has a chance of ruining your reputation? Try me, bitch. I'll f you up. And the real slap in the face is she hits like a girl. And here's the star of the show, Arlo Dittman and a young Mexican boy. That's why we cool it with the flashes, please. I'm hungover and this is epileptic. So. Arlo, how does it feel to be asleep for 20 years only to wake up in a nightmare? Like sandpaper on my shaft. God, you've got some crow's feet. I want to see! No, you don't. And here comes our alleged perpetrator. Although with an amazing beard like that, it's hard to believe anyone could accuse him of anything. Dave. Some people are calling you a hero for taking out a convicted child molester. Your thoughts? I'm just trying to make this town a safer place, Susan. He is not a hero! He's a liar! liar! How long was he in the waiting room? I don't know, a couple hours? Why didn't someone wake me up? You look so peaceful! What's the monitor say? I'm not getting a reading. What, did you turn it on? Shit, my bad! Response to penile stimulation is minimal. Damn it! I've run out of ideas. Let's shock him. Shocking? You idiot! You gotta before you do Sorry. that. Clear! 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 Ah, holy shit, Stevens, you're gonna kill him. Put that thing away. Somebody give me a, a, a scalpel. Well, how about this, Doc? Will this work? Jesus! Do we have another size? Well, I mean, you send everything else home inside the patient. Right, inventory after surgery, ladies. Fuck it. I'll make it work. If this kills him, what do we all say? He was dead, dead on, on arrival. arrival. Very good. Let's rumble. <gasps> oh, no! And he's awake, 7.35. Who had 7.35? Evie's the closest. God he had eight damn it, Evie, every time. Oh my God, did I get shot in the head? Well, it was very touch and go, but we were able to save you. Duh. Well, somebody's a salty shrimp. We saved your life, you ungrateful diddler. Yeah, well, what about this thing in my stomach? What thing? <clears throat> See? Ladies, uh, this uh, is why we take inventory. So you're telling me that the metal plate in my head actually protected my brain from being uh, affected? Yep. Delightful, thank you. Your cerebral cortex, however, may have suffered a minor dent. So for the next few months, you may confuse uh, colors, genders, holes. Holes? Like your mouth and your anus. Well, thank God this gown opens from the back. That's gross. I'm gonna leave. Nurse, you got this? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> thank you. 
gonna change me, bitch? I have surgery. You're a uh, nurse. And, uh, here is our alleged perpetrator. Hey, can you turn it up? An amazing beard like that. I don't see how anyone could accuse him of anything. No, I need to be with them. Holy shit! That is almost blackout pain. Hello there. Hello, is someone there? You sound so young, young and incapacitated. We're gonna be such great friends. <laughs> Some people are calling you a hero for taking out a convicted child molester. Your thoughts? I'm just trying to make this town a safer place, Susan. But they, they don't know about the... Nighty night, Jimbo. <laughs> you are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Herman Highbrow. The people are real. The cases are real. This is Judge Herman. Former Kids TV host Arlo Dittman is suing his former production assistant Dave Rowland for attempted murder and being, quote, a stupid asshole. Dave is countersuing Arlo and his staff for false employment, psychological abuse, and for damages to his car from hitting a morbidly obese child. Order! All rise for the Honorable Judge Herman. Oh my word. Is that a man or a woman? Doesn't matter, I'm tapping it. You're attracted to that? Power, fuck you. Order! Order! We're here to decide the dispute of Dave versus everyone else at TV30's Magic Fun House. The plaintiff, Dave, claims that TV30's employees Arlo, Cronus, Manjosa, Sasha, Cliff, and Jimmy the Child Molester. Oh, come on! No drove Dave to insanity. First, let's call up the defendant, Arlo Dittman. Wait, I am not the defendant. He is. He, he tried to shoot me. That's not what it says on my records. Must be a clerical error. Whatever. How do you plead? Not guilty, Your Majesty. Your Honor. I am very honored to be here, but I'd like to stick to the point, please. And you, Dave? First of all, Your Honor, I want to thank you for being here today. You're very welcome, you polite, well-bearded young man. Your Honor, in response to all and any charges against me, I plead not, not guilty by reason of insanity! Ooh. <laughs> Furthermore, Your, Your Honor, these people, they can even so be called, did knowingly and maliciously subject me to unspeakable humiliation. They regularly made me get coffees for everyone but me, and Arlo himself requested extra milks. 2%, 1%, almond, whole, soy, skim, rice, goat, and human. It's nutritious. And then not even drink any of them. I was in a coma for 22 years and I missed my mother. You were six years old when you went into that coma. Were you still breastfeeding at six? No, no, I would milk my mother in her sleep and then drink it from a glass. I'm not sick, Your Honor. As you can see, Your Honor, these people exhibit deranged intent, reckless abandon, prima nocta, and gross negligence to human feelings. I am not gross. Have a seat, Mr. Dittman. Yes, sir. Just warning you, I may have a solids accident in my pants, but who the hell doesn't, right? Okay, yeah. Mm. Fucking bathroom users. You guys are very screwed. Like, stretched, torn, and left behind a goodwill screwed. At least I have eyebrows, you old goblin. Who is this guy, anyway? I'm your attorney. Uh, I have some bomb lip liner if you do want eyebrows today. Mm. <laughs> oh! The nurses don't come by anymore, so we have to take care of each other. I can wipe myself. Ah. You're like that boy Arlo on TV. Arlo, what's happening with the trial? Well, that boy is having a tussle with that boy, and that boy's on the side of that boy, and that boy is employed by that boy. And I don't know how I feel about that other half boy. And all the rest of the people are boring. Why isn't that boy getting royally reamed by that boy? Great question. Because he's pleading insanity. That's insane! I have to get the... Ah. <laughs> You're in no position to go anywhere. I have to. I just have to get something to numb this godforsaken, mind-blowing, holy fucking shit pain. Here, you can have some of my narcotics. I build up a tolerance. I have a lot. You sure this won't kill me? Live it up. You're in the hospital. All right. Okay, guys. As soon as these keep me from feeling anything, I'm coming for you. Wait. Did I give you one or two? Four. Why? Whoopsie. Order! Now, Arlo, what have you to say? to all this damning testimony. Oh, step aside, I got this. No, it's okay, I know exactly what to say. Judge Hareman. Hareman. That's what I said. Just call me Your Honor. Yes, sir. Your Honor. God, God damn it. 
Now, while the plaintiff, Dave, here has gone on and on about how terrible I was to him and how I manipulated him into waiving his human and civil rights and how I blackmailed him and hit his... Say it, you fool. Just say what you're going to say. Now, the point is, while Dave has gone on and on about all this, the truth is, it is my fault. <gasps> I'm the one responsible for all of this. It's true. Please forgive me, you guys. For it was I who had the heart to let Dave follow his dreams. I remember Dave's first day at Magic Funhouse like it was about six months ago. Hey, dumbass! I want to learn to fuck shit up! You mean learn from the wisdom of Arlo the Beautiful? Because you're a little late. Oh, shut the fuck up, Moraji! Oh, gosh, oh, my gosh, here. this is horrifying! Oh, oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh! Please help oh, me, I'm being crazy. bullied! Yes, I will, Jimmy, because Arlo's a good man! Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up, I gotta fart. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's disgusting! What did you eat? That's Mama's home burrito? cooking, bitch! Ow. Fuck this door! Oh, oh God! Hey, Frank! Who are you and what do you want? Oh. Eat dildos, motherfuckers! Oh. 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 Is everyone okay? Is this disturbed man harassing you? Hey, isn't this a crazy character? Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna call the cops! Oh, no! Oh, it's okay, my man, Jusha. We all make mistakes. You! I don't like you! I'm gonna fuck up your life! Someone help! This deranged farmer has murder in his eyes and he looks like a stupid asshole. The cops are gonna be here in 30 seconds. Ah! Ah! Distraction! Ah! Ah! Help! He's trying to kill me, everyone! Where'd he go? I don't know, but we have a show to do and there's a maniac on the loose! Okay, we're not in the first 10 seconds. We'll find him! Go get him, guys! Mantusha! What? Move my green peace meeting to 5 o'clock. There's a deranged farmer been here and he looks like a stupid asshole! I'm gonna fuck up your show, Arlo! <laughs> no! We have to save the children, they're our future! Hey you! <gasps> Please don't hurt me, mister! Listen, my life's a mess, alright? My parents pooped in my mouth since I was a child and I really need this job to turn my piece of shit life around. Well, I do suppose I could give you a shot. You know what my motto is, right? What? Always help those in need. We're gonna get through this together. Your Honor, that's not how that day happened at all. That's just a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> malarkey! You're so wholesome! Oh, shucks. Thanks, Your Honor. So, you were saying they were wrong? Oh, indeed. Not only was that day drastically different, to say the least, but I shan't bore you with the details. <laughs> Thank you. Instead of wasting your time with trivial facts and evidence, I will share with you how they made me feel. I was so innocent and eager to begin that I was unaware of the verbal abuse and wage inequality that awaited me. Is anyone here? Guys, I'm scared. This is only my first day. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? I just want to work my way up as a good, honest television producer. You're nothing. He's just an intern. No, he isn't. She's an employee. We don't pay. Smile for the boys and girls, piss face. <laughs> Honor, that is not true. We would never have filmed something for a different show without signing a release. And that includes the televised broadcast of this. Um, Your Honor, I can speak to that. All my employees sign contracts that release all rights. To what? Anything. Nice. Wait, so that means that this broadcast and all the ideas we've ever had are owned by you? Legally, yes. Damn it! Silence! We're here to talk about how mean you were to Dave. Uh, fair enough, Your Honor. But after my testimony, I think you'll agree I'm beyond reproach, incredible, and totally single. <laughs> you see, running the perfect TV channel or station, whatever we are, requires a perfect dictator. And the perfect dictator knows how to get what he wants from anyone in his line of vision. <laughs> what are you having me sign? It's a petition to extend the ice cream truck route to this part of town. Ooh, delightful. Labia rejuvenation. I don't need that. Unlimited mustache wax. Awesome. Penis enhancement. Done. Keep the elderly out of our homes. It's about time. Doghouse loan. Mmm. That's what you had us sign? That's what it was? You a dirty, dirty trick. Order! Order! All right, you patsies. You got taken by a strong black man. Go ahead, Mr. Cronus. Thank you, Your Honor. As I was saying, 
I obtained the life rights of this story and started production as of yesterday on the made for TV movie of this very trial premiering on full screen next Thursday night at 7 p.m. Full screen, doing some very interesting stuff these days. You son of a bitch! All right, you've had enough TV for today. Wait, I need to see that. No, you don't. You need to save us. Your friends need you, Jimmy. Arlo? Nice to see you, Welcome back, Pillboy! <laughs> oh, baby raper. I need to leave now. It's very important. Oh, you're not well enough to leave. You can leave just as soon as your insurance is done paying for your overnight stays. What? I don't have any insurance. Oh, you can leave now then. Get the fuck out of here! Get out! Hey, I'm leaving! He can't leave now. We're getting ready to play Truth or the Dare. Oh, well, a good doctor. Doctor doesn't work for free, you socialist! Well, pick up his expenses, put it out on my account. And also, give me some more of these. Coming right up! I'm sorry, Jimmy. You're not allowed to leave until his money runs out. Jimmy, let's play. I run a tight ship, Your Honor. And a tight ship deserves a tight captain. Even if I like to stir up a little trouble every now and then. I can't believe we signed those releases. Every morning when I look in the mirror, I see who I truly am. A thick pube monster. But sometimes, I see who I wish I was. A woman. And that's a man who doesn't break. Even though he hates his job, he still carries on. You even are a though bastard. Your majesty, he's a bastard and his mother doesn't love him and I pissed with. in your butter. God damn it, it's margarine, you bitch! Order! Order! God, I love smashing this thing! All right. Dave, what have you got to say to all this stuff? Your Honor, I have but one question. What kind of person would knowingly and willingly urinate in someone's butter? The kind of person who, when confronted with the fact that his parents never loved him and were getting skull fucked by worms six feet under and would never be able to love him, himself became an unloving monster seeking revenge on the innocent. Your Honor, I rest my case. You rest your case? Sorry, no, I know, I just mean like mic drop. They're all shitty people, and Arlo's an unloving, merciless monster that the state should shoot in the crotch until dead. Ha <laughs> ha, that would be funny. All right, let's get this sentencing underway, unless anyone has something to say about that. How about you, little boy? You look like you have something to say. Mostly I just have to poop, but while I do that, I would like to say something. Oh, interesting. You see, Arlo is a kind of a baby. That is not true. I am not a baby. Which is why he needed his parents more than most people his technical age and while he would do anything to find them. It was late on a Tuesday night, Your Honor. Ooh, spooky. I've known Arlo since he woke up, and in that period, he's grown much smarter. I will continue my story in the bathroom. Wait, no, what the f Hold it in, Manjusha. It's coming now. Everyone who wants to listen, follow me. It was only a matter of time before he learned other means to find his parents, and if we wanted to keep our jobs, we had to outsmart this man. It's the first time I remember vaguely what love felt like. If I remember correctly, it feels like being obsessed with a person where they affect your every decision and make you do things you'd never imagined. Love is for crazy people, Your Honor. Well, that's too bad. No one heard any of that because the jury wasn't around during your 22 minute shit. Your Honor, what I believe Mandrusha was beautifully intending to say is that we are all a very loving group here at Magic Funhouse. Uh, Goblin Dick Dave couldn't have been driven insane by a group so affectionate and sexually open. In my flashback, I think we'll see just how an ordinary rehearsal day can be full of love and tension. Okay, action now, go! One, two, good morning, boys and girls. I it's time for Magic Funhouse to end. Oh God, it's happening. Save us, Cliff! how it went down, Your Honor. We were all a bit tipsy. Cliff fell asleep. And we all shared our STDs. Wait, what? You actually had an orgy? 
You bastards, why didn't you wake me up? Well, you looked so peaceful. Dave was a part of the orgy and I wasn't? It was late, we were drunk, just let it go, Cliff. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Sasha. Be quiet, let the prostitute speak. Thank you, your honor. All these stories are not giving the right impression of us or Dave. I think his true nature can be best understood by the following flashback. <sighs> oh no, I can't measure myself because my breasts are too large and my waist is too thin. I'll have to say no to that Scarlett Johansson movie. I respect her too much to upstage her. Sasha! Sasha! <gasps> Where'd you come from? I thought you were supposed to be making lunch for the children. Well, I started the grill for them. And besides, they're too busy playing with a lot of fluid. They'll no! Be I'll save them! No, baby, <gasps> stay a while! <laughs> Omnibus hashtag Uber lift me! But Arma, why would you save me? I'm just a singer, songwriter, supermodel. Never undersell yourself, my dear. You're perfect just the way you are. Your Honor, look at her. You think Scar Jo would work with that? F you all. She should be so lucky. And by the way, she hates being called Scar Jo. Her real friends call her Scarl Johan. Your Honor, that is almost as insane as her story. I remember that day a little differently. I fucking hate this job, and I fucking hate kids. You okay, Sasha? Hey, shithead, you piece of shit boy. You know you're shit, right? Well, I, I suppose so. Say it. Say it and eat this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a shit. You are what you eat. Now come over here and validate me. Yes, ma'am. I command you to measure my waist and my bust. Oh. I'll just put my ex on speaker while you do it. Uh, Ma'am, I feel like that would be very inappropriate. Sasha, if you call again, I'll have to involve the cops. Please don't make me do that. I think I'm gonna let you do talk. You dare think? F you. You're nothing. You're worthless. Now get back in your cage. Stay get in your so goddamn cage, you no, worthless no, piece of no, shit! No, and no, don't no, come no. back out, because no. you don't got permission. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, that is not how that happened. Dave was already in his cage, which, by the way, he ruined trying to get out. Kill, 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 all right, all right. Let's take an hour for lunch and then we'll crucify these bastards. <laughs> Dave, were you thinking about getting a bite? Mind if I join? What the fuck? Yeah, what's Dave got that I don't? Goddamn pubic hair thickener. I'm sorry I let you guys down. I hope you still love me. No comment. Guys, we still have a shot. Maybe if we just- Wait, wait, shut up. That's just it, Sasha. You're a genius. What? Shut up, I'm trying to think. This is a trial, right? Yeah. 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 And trials are composed of logic and reason and math and things like that, right? Yeah, you present sure. an argument and then you have to do the different yeah. So shut up. We don't know anything about any of that, but what we do know is how to put on a show and a damn good one. What are you suggesting we do? Exactly what we do best. Here's the plan. I'm gonna impress that judge, right? Yeah, yes. no, 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 shut up, shut up. You know, even if it is just my brain confusing my holes, that is a great way to eat hospital food. Wait till you try the chicken drumsticks. Hey, you two. Getting along great, I see. Let me know if you need anything. Percocet, oxycodone, amyl nitrate. I want to get out of here. Until your bills aren't being paid by Winston here, looks like you're his plaything. I guess you're right, Doc, but all this whole confusion has been wreaking havoc on my dental hygiene. Maybe we should schedule a full workup? Excellent. We have a very expensive and okay dentist on staff. Oh, and now that I'm thinking about it, we should definitely schedule me for a top surgery and a bottom surgery and a top-bottom surgery, reversal surgery two months later, and let's pay for all of that in advance. You've got it! All right, fine. If you leave me now, Jimmy, you just need to know that I've never felt this way about anybody. And if you walk out that door, goodbye, Jimmy. Hey, mister, can you help me? No, little boy, you should just take care of yourself out here. I ran away from the orphanage and I'm lost and sleepy and dirty. Can you help me take a bath somewhere and protect me while I sleep? <laughs> now! Now you give this to me, God! F*** you! And f*** you! Give me that bike! Ouch! <laughs> that felt good! We have reached a verdict. Arlo Dittman, it is clear that you slept 
through the portion of life that teaches ethics, responsibility, and selflessness. And it has taken a toll on many innocent citizens, like this poor bearded man before me. You are not ready to be a functioning adult in society. You're a danger to yourself, to children, and to those who you believe are your family. Perhaps it would have been best if you'd have stayed asleep. I find you and your staff guilty on all charges. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Are y'all having a good time? Fantastic! I'd like to introduce you to a bitch named Dave. We trusted her to run our show, but you couldn't even shave. Awful plaid shirts and corduroy pants. When Dave leaves the bathroom, he he hasn't washed his hands. He's I tried to be his friend, I really tried. But now I know he's so very dead inside. No emotion. On his Tinder page, it says that he's a nice guy, but he's always looking at me with a boner in his eyes. You can't reason with him. He's savage and he's nuts. He's a danger to society. You have to lock him up. Your Honor, he's a monster. He's an asshole and a bitch. He should crawl back in his mother. And pull the off switch. You can't reason with him. He's savage and he's nuts. He's a danger to society. You have to lock him up. Your honor, he's a monster. He's an asshole and a bitch. He should crawl back in his mother and pull the off switch. Your honor, we rest our case. Good, because you're still guilty. No! no! I have something! I have something! Judge Hairman! Hairman! Big fan, Your Honor. Get on with it, Diddler! Can you play a VHS tape? This is a county courthouse! That's all we can still play! Your Honor, this is nonsense! Hold on! This is getting interesting! Ladies! Gentlemen! You! This man is not who you think he is. For the past six months, we all saw him as you see him. A sweet, innocent Amish farmer, but there lies within his soul a deep, hidden darkness. Something that should not be allowed to roam the same streets as your children. All this coming from a child molester. Child predator! Jesus, I'm not sick. Just play the fucking tape! There's hot pockets in my dressing room you're keeping me from. shoot you in the head. Literally, I have a gun and I will draw it and I will shoot you in the head. I'm a crazy motherfucker, kill me. Mr. Dimbin! And that is how you win a case, bitches. No, sir, I'm here! You ruined my future! You ruined my life! I hate you! One day they're gonna release me, Arlo Dittman, and I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you and make you pay for what you've done! I might have ruined your future, but at least you've had a past. And that is something I'll never get. That show was the only thing I had, and you robbed me of it. And if all these people weren't here right now, I'd slit your goddamn jug and my happiness would be the last thing you see before going to where you belong. <laughs> Ask me questions. Mr. Dittman, have you thought about a career in politics? Oh, of course. So with the show being over, what happens now? I'll probably go back home to Denver. My family might still be alive. I guess porn will be my full-time gig now. I always wanted to work at Starbucks. I have a personality for customer service. I'll probably get my d sucked. Then I massage it and get my d sucked again. Must be nice to have your kind of money. Every ending to any of your stories is automatically a happy one. Not this one, you cry, baby. You son of a bitch. Oh, here comes a baby, everyone. Guys, everybody calm down. We just avoided a very long jail sentence and this might be the last time that we're all together. Cliff's right, we should be celebrating. Yeah. So what plans have you got for yourself, Arlo? What's in the stars for the great Mr. Marble now? I don't know. Uh, this show was the only thing I knew how to do. <laughs> I never went to school, never got a diploma. 
I don't think I know how to survive in this world. All I know is I gotta leave town. In six months, a very scary man will be released from prison. And I suggest none of us be here when that time comes. Where do you think you'll be six months from now? Not here. Hopefully somewhere far, far away. Much better place. We practice a little bit. I'm gonna take all your goddamn kids away. I really want to smash this thing right now. I can't do it. Come over here and say that to my cunt. I'm going to sit on your husband while you're behind bars, bitch. I want my hot pockets. Just my hot pockets right now. We have reached a verdict.